wood, one of the most natural elements that brings us closer to nature. So what better way to get in touch with nature than to incorporate some soft and woody browns into our living space? Welcome back to Crazy Nice Homes. Today we're here at Topayo to see a five-room resale flat that is 1,259 square feet. Ready? Let's go! Hello Adrian, hi, how are you? Yeah, doing fine. Hey. Hey. Thanks for having me here. So, what's the theme and inspiration behind this house? So, the inspiration of this house is uh, Japanese and Muji mix and match and it's the owner's requirement to consume as much thing as possible. Great, so excited to check out this house. Yeah, go on like. So, over here, this is an example on how we consume storage. And this one is actually a very deep storage cabinet you can see inside. Oh wow, it's really deep because you can fit a full luggage inside. Yeah. And right here, here's the fluted wood panel here, here and here. Later you will see it across the entire house because it's a Japanese theme. And this one is actually a console you can see inside. Oh, wow, so this is actually a win-win solution because this is, looks nice, like Japanese theme and also if you're sitting on the sofa, you can use your controller because there are gaps here that you can reach the controller box. Actually, uh, yeah, we request a lot of storage. One is for the kids, yeah, and another one is last time we do travel a lot and we have a lot of big luggages. We get the designer thing of have a big and depth storage that can put our luggage in. So this is the kitchen. There was originally a wall here, so it's the owner's feng shui requirement. We have to break some part of the walls and replace it with glass panels. This is also to bring in more natural light and to create a spacious field. We designed the feng shui first when we got the house, when it's bare. Yeah, so we get the feng shui uh, si fu to look around where is our cai wei. One of the example is on the, the cooker, cooker hood. It is also Owner's feng shui requirement, we have to place the stove in this direction and let me show you something cool. Yeah. Wow, what is this? So this is a downdraft cooker hood. We have to use this instead of a chimney hood as it will prevent uh, the natural light from coming in. Oh wow, I absolutely love this. This is modern kitchen technology at its finest. And there is also a power track there for them to easy access. I want to ask you about the white tile backsplash here. Many people have concerns that if you use a tile backsplash, it's very hard to maintain. Yeah, for this case, we use uh, black grout for easy maintenance. We also use this subway tiles because it has a very nice contrast with the tabletop. So this was originally part of the kitchen, so the owner wanted to separate the yard from the kitchen. So we decided to build this wall up and the swing and slide doors and windows to prevent the smell from flowing outwards. And this is also for them to open up when they need to. Oh wow! So this creates a very big area, it merges the kitchen and the yard area together. Yes, it is. So over here, this was originally a recess area. So we decided to build this pantry over for the owner to prepare their milk powder. And we have also used this compact glass for their tabletop. It is also a trend now for them to do this sink cover so that they could dry their cups easily. I love it that there's a sink here actually just beside the living and dining space. And Lester, I got a surprise for you. It is not only a feature wall over here, it is also a storage area. I thought it's only a feature wall, but it's actually a hidden storage area. That is why you got to get a good ID to do up your house for you. Basically, we decided to have the pantry beside the dining table. It's mainly for the kids because it's more convenient for washing up and, you know, we have a water dispenser there. So, you know, the kids do not have to actually go all the way to the main kitchen to get their water or drinks or even for us to um, feed the baby as well. Yeah, sometimes it's emergency during at night. Okay. 
So Lester, this is the entrance to the master bedroom. We designed this door in a way to create privacy. At the same time, it's also to bring the natural light inside to the dining area. So this is interesting. What is this special glass? Yes, it's a reeded glass. Cost is about twenty to thirty dollar per square feet. This overall door is a carpentry door. Okay. So it costs about one point five k. Oh, okay. One yeah. thing. So one thing I noticed uh, that's very interesting is there is no handle on this door. Correct. Let me show you inside. Great. So this is a study area. It was originally part of the dining room, so we decided to create this door here for this study area merging to the master bedroom. There was a wall inside, so we break down it and to replace it with a wardrobe and of course these sliding doors to separate the study area and the master bedroom. I want to ask you about this glass here. This glass and this glass looks very similar. Is it also reeded glass? Yes, this is also a reeded glass, so it comes with different sizes and of course this one depends on the owner's requirement. Yeah, let me show you inside. Let's go. Oh wow, sliding door. So this is the master bedroom and this is the wardrobe on how it looks like from the other side. So we designed it this way because it's inspired by Shoji's screen. And I realised the beaded glass brings in a lot of light into the room. Yes, correct. And we are standing on the platform because it is a Japanese theme. Yeah, it really looks like a Japanese ryokan. And here's another wardrobe because we want to create the walk-in wardrobe the country. And this is the divider also to separate the sleeping area and the makeup area. Uh, which this is also links to the master bathroom. Ah, oh, let's check it out. Yeah. So this is the master bathroom and it's the owner's requirement to have the his and hers basin. Uh, two basins in a toilet really feels like a luxury hotel. And this is a carpentry door. We create this door for ventilation purpose. Oh, wow. Let's turn it kind of see. Oh wow, ventilation fan hidden so nicely behind. Yeah, correct. And we create the door for to conceal the beams, wires, and the drivers for the LED strips as well. Oh, I love it. Such a nice Japanese wall here in the toilet. It's all hidden nicely, concealed behind. So over here we use the wood light tiles and the cement light tiles over here. So why do you use wood and grey together? Oh, because this is inspired by Onsen Spa. Oh, so you have your own onsen right here in your own house. Correct. And Lester, this is not the end. Do you realise this is another concealed door that leads to the kids' bedroom? Oh wow, this is a concealed door. There's a bedroom behind here. No, I was just wondering, this is a five-room flat, but I only see two rooms here. So, oh wow, another room is behind this nicely concealed door. Yes. It took like weeks to actually decide on and even finalise on the wood For grains. The finalise is about one month. Yeah, to finalise everything. Yeah. So, um, probably he's a picky one. Uh. Sorry, yeah. is yes. it? No. I think so. So Adrian, the million dollar question, how much does this beautiful home cost? It costs around $100,000. You know, Adrian, I love how the owners of this house have incorporated wood as the mainstay of this house and in the process welcome the sentiments of nature into this space. This is officially a crazy nice home. Thank you very much for showing us around, Adrian. Yeah, we're welcome. Well, do comment on which part of the house that you like best right below. Now, if you like this house as well, please remember to like this video and subscribe to this channel. And if you have a crazy nice home, do reach out to us. Link in the description below. This has been Crazy Nice Homes. Take care. We will see you next time. Bye-bye.